Radio 100 FM, also our partner station 88.5 Super FM. A warm welcome to the ATS News Force. We are live in high definition on Spectra Channel 4 and also on Channel 116. I'm Andre Paul. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we are all streaming live on htsinclosure.org and also on Facebook at HTS Enclosure Official. We start tonight with concern about a video gone viral featuring what appears to be prisoners recreating within the confines of a pin facility filming themselves. Some of the alleged prisoners in the video are reportedly well known to law enforcement. The clip has raised questions about security and the smuggling of contraband into penal facilities. Stanley Lucien begins our reporting this evening. When Hillary Hilton took over the raid of the Body Correctional Facility, BCF, for the third time last September, he acknowledged that challenges were daunting, but he was confident that he could turn the institution around. I think I have a contribution. I think I still have a contribution to make, um, and I think the opportunity is there. Um, we're not too many people knocking this job. I hope you know that. Um, I think I'm still capable of bringing the institution back to what it used to be or what it can be. Well, obviously it is, um, it has, well, you know, it has deteriorated quite a bit, a bit in infrastructure and um, places and personnel. It has deteriorated. Um, uh, corrections is a calling. Um, not too many people want it. Not too many people have it. Um, so what you find is uh, I'm available. The opportunity came. I'm here. As if to underscore his concerns, within his first week on the job, there was a major security breach at the CF, in which three male prisoners broke down in the walls to get to 60 year old female prisoner being held on remand. The man's account of the horrific incident varied widely on significant points from that of the Vim and her family. Something obviously wrong, and that's what we will do the same um, upon completion of the investigation. On Tuesday, January 7th, a male prisoner, Francis Burley, was seriously injured by another who used a in prison weapon to attack him. Then on Friday, rare images from people with the bowels of body emerged, providing a snapshot of life behind bars in Saluda's prison system. This is the of the city. The young men are out of their cells. This is the first time feelings are ending some downtime. Something appears to be my one. Remember, 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 St. Lucia Prime Minister Alan Shahney has disclosed that the United Works Party Administration is now in talks to set up a medical university at the St. Jude Hospital construction site. Shahney, who provided an update on the work on St. Jude Hospital on his Facebook page, remarked that the project is progressing. The Prime Minister says the previous buildings were not built to standard for a hospital. Therefore, he said the government is currently negotiating with several institutions for the establishment of a medical university in the previously constructed buildings. The government is building a completely new structure in proximity to the construction site. Shahney said that the reconstruction of the St. Jude Hospital will deliver a 19 facility that will cater for both in and out. Services. Since the Prime Minister brought in voice action, the wing will operate all functions and services of six of the existing east and surgical wings and the integration through retrofitting of some existing buildings to achieve a fully functioning hospital to match services of a level four facility. The Prime Minister also announced plans for the revision of the internal layout of the buildings to be integrated for functional efficacy and compliance to minimum standards. Shasne is scheduled to deliver his new address to the nation this coming Sunday at 8 p.m. Solution has broken record. The island has recorded 400,000 in state or arrivals. Tourism Minister Dominic put together to boost the income account on Friday. Let's pause this. Despite the concerns over the negative impact of virtual people's in June 2020, the area is to be making money in all blunts to minister of the problems as it has recorded the highest number of steel over rivals in its history. St. Lucia has had a most exceptional year in uh, 2019. Uh, we have had a preliminary report which is coming and it suggests that we have broken a record for the first time in history of recording touristics in our country. We have recorded over 400,000 uh, steel over rivals. So coming in at about 422,600 uh, plus visitors, uh, it means that this has been the best year that we've had in the history of our uh, recording St. Lucia statistics. Fede recognized the contribution of all tourist leaders without whom this achievement have not been possible. So coming in at about 422,600 uh, plus visitors, uh, it means that this would have been the best year that we've had in the history of uh, recording St. Lucia statistics. Um, I want to take this opportunity to um, congratulate all the standing industry workers, all the many thousands of them in private sector and in the public sector, all the people who have toiled um, seriously to ensure that uh, Sitchi remains uh, at the top of tourism destinations in the Caribbean. Uh, this means that a 7.1% growth so far. The tourism is the D19 success, yet tourism in Sitchi should continue by this will be quite helpful. We'll add that with the fact that we were clearly the world leading honeymoon station also in 2019. Um, also in 2019, uh, we saw we were the Caribbean's leading destination of and among uh, the top 10 during Caribbean uh, destinations in the Caribbean. Obviously, we brought the economy to the top and people calls onto the Caribbean Council of the Thousand Rights and encouraging the getting the opportunities for the Thousand Rights. 
see from a disjunct all encouraging solutions to participate uh, in the tourism sector. Uh, you don't have to be a big hub to concessions. Uh, what you have from more the present, there is a large client to get access to the concessions uh, for construction of a tourism. Uh, for people, there is a poor business client to do a uh, small bed and breakfast. The opportunity is everyone to do it. Food and is due to stop flying in Usha in June this year. In light of this, we announced that there are all ranges in peace to keep the long line. Correct. Or in Paris, uh, this year. Especially in the UK market, we are expecting additional seas uh, to compensate for the loss of Virgin Atlantic, uh, which is expected to come to an end in June. I have absolutely uh, no worry at all that we will not be in a position to, um, to compensate for the capacity losses that Virgin uh, would have uh, brought about. The Department of Statistics and the Tourism is currently on a tourism light report for Minister and the Tourism Commission to every aspect of the economy. The Tourism Satellite Account reported dated for completion on March 21st, 2020. The list of reporting for the AG News Force. The Sinusha National Trust South is appealing to the public sector to stop interfering with the procedures it has put in place to protect the biodiversity in the Sinusha area. One thing has been simple. According to Prome Officer for the Sea International South, the National Trust has been expensing issues putting to the removal of Pretty Barrier on Sa Beach. The officer felt it's necessary to educate the public about the role of these barriers. We've been experiencing some issues with um, interference in uh, some of the interventions that we've tried to um, have over the years with on, on the beach area. Um, to, and these interventions were working towards uh, minimizing coastal erosion on the sand and strip. Um, one of the main issues is that of the um, vehicular, unregulated vehicular access on the beaches, and that has been some negative impacts over the, over the years. Reset. People have been removing the poles meant to create a barrier between certain zones on the beach and motor vehicles. These areas were erected in an effort to mitigate the erosion. One of the major ones that we instituted was the installation of a pool barrier system, um, mainly to reduce vehicular access to certain areas on the sandy beach area. And um, what has done, as a matter of fact, was welcomed by the public. Recently, a uh, number of occasions, what we've had is that we've, um, some folks have been moving the poles so that they could drive into the area um, recreate. Um, reason for it because there's sufficient space along the, the, the beach and road to actually park and actually enjoy um, the beach without necessarily having to drive all over the way to line. Uh, so it had to do with that number of agents in of resolving the, the, the poles. Um, it comes at cost, of course. As recently as last week, um, the officer, the NTA officer for the South um, informed me that, you know, that that incident um, could. The officer stresses the need for the public to respect the invention methods in place by the National Trust. He explains that tampering with these measures may have serious implications for the biodiversity in that area. He said that Sa Beach is active nesting area for turtles. He warned that taking the nesting turtles or the eggs is a criminal offense. Just to remind the public that um, nesting females, it is illegal to interfere with them, you can take them away, they can eggs, carry them away, or even to slaughter. And if you happen, to, if I'm just asking public assistance, if you happen to see any incidents related to that, that you report it to the proper authorities, fisheries authorities, even to the local police, so that we can minimize this. The Signature National Trust is charged with advocating for the sustainable use and the management of Signature's natural resources. Melissa all reporting for the HDS New Force. When we came back, did the BC family who lost their home to fire get their Christmas wish rented? All to exalting the missing profession plus the e-port. This segment of the HDS News Force was brought to you by Flow for the moments that move us. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you get 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike, shop today, and pay nothing until March Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. At First National Bank, we embrace our national pride and are proud to say that we are everything in Lucia, from our board of directors, shareholders, management, and staff. We don't just do business in St. Lucia. This is our home, which is why the success of our bank means the success of our nation. First National Bank, here. <laughs>
tired of drawing down your savings and a contra replenish? Then borrow against your savings with affordable monthly installments with low interest rate of 4.5% APR, 0.38% per month, with as long as a 60 months to repay. Keep your savings intact for your retirement years or for your loved ones. You are also covered with free life savings and loan protection insurance. Check us out today at the Monero Eaton Cooperative Credit Union. This segment of the HDS News for is brought to you by Bank of St. Lucia, all the bank you need. A PC family who lost their home by a price holidays still picking the pieces. Loved ones had expressed resolve to rebuild the family home before Christmas. Although they still fell short of the goal, the plan is undaunted in the quest to beat the ring under one roof. The Paul Brisses update. The family has been working diligently to such a job. A plan to rebuild before Christmas. The family to a few blocks. Each year's poll with one family member is Anwan who updated us on their progress. The family as the committee has rallied around them in this need and I received assistance from the family representative for the area. Yeah, some assistance from the majority of it. I got assistance from helping the committee guys help me with But everybody, everybody always, we try to get there before Christmas, but a little tough. At the moment, the family is everything is there. They want to live efficient, but we do. Business ones, an exception, a few minor contraptions. It's almost complete. It's just inside of it right now. That is Shannon Nemesis. I should have to get the rest of it. 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 The Melissa Paul reporting for the HCS News Force. Now for today's EPO presentation. Hello, I am Melissa Paul. Welcome to the HTS e-poll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. But first, a word from our sponsor, Flu. Welcome back. There is growing concern over heightened tensions between the United States and Iran. The two countries have been involved in tit-for-tat retaliatory strikes over a number of geopolitical issues, from regional proxy wars, terrorism, and the Iran nuclear deal. Experts worry that a lack of diplomacy could lead to a full-scale war with implications for the global economy, given that the Middle East countries are a major producer of crude oil, a precious commodity. So we asked you, do you expect the situation in the Middle East between the United States and Iran to have a long-term negative impact on St. Lucia's economy? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 57% of you said yes and 43% of you said no. We took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. I think it will, definitely, because if a uh, war would break right now, that means the price of the barrel of oil will definitely go up and that will affect our local economy. I guarantee that. I doubt that. But solution to stay away from what's up their business and mind their own. Well, if America and Iran kept on with 2% and um, replies with each other, yes, it would have put them. But right now, I think both nations have realized this is not a big anybody, and they pull back. So, I while there's still tension in the region, um, the water price of oil remains as is. There should, be, there should be any impact on us whatsoever. It won't affect our economy. Um, the Iranians have catered by your food party to the Americans that are over and with this particular portion of facility. So, I think life is on as usual. Later in the major hostility between, between the Americans and the Iranians, if the, Ameri the Iranians are definitely going to develop a new air weapon, because Iran is a country that has been destroyed Israel to be destroyed if there is conflict in the quarter. So, by the misvote of that, we'll come up with Iran to have nuclear weapon because it's going to misuse it. You understand? That's the the conflict between the Americans. It will not right now. Probably in the future, if something goes on between Iran and the rest of the world, it would affect all those concerns. But currently, 
that little that they had, which is all but oh, oh yeah, definitely will affect us because what will happen our legal travel because we not feel safe because we have to do the soft get. The often said when Erica sneak at Jacob, so it will definitely affect us. Thanks for those responses. Now to the discussion. The president of Raise Your Voice St. Lucia, Catherine Seelys, has called for the anti-abortion laws to be repealed. She says they discriminate against women. Simply put, Seelys calls for the abortion to be made legal in St. Lucia. So, we want to know. Do you support the legalization of abortion in St. Lucia? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsaintlucia.org or Facebook at Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584-4HDS. That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your flow handset, text your EPOL response to 487, press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 for no comment, and 4 for I don't know. Join the discussion from your flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion. Thank you, Melissa. You're watching the HDS News Force. Russell Lake sends out an all points bulletin for all automobiles ahead of this kind forum. This segment of the HDS News Force was brought to you by Bank of St. Lucia, all the bank you need. We are the Bank of St. Lucia for every solution. The arm of yesterday. We are the Bank of St. Lucia for every solution. Do every step of the way. All the all the bank you need. Well, it's quite a scorcher today, but that hasn't stopped our distance runners from coming out and giving all their free best. Jeffrey is leading the pack. He passes for a spot stop. Let's see what happens here. One month's none of these passes straight again. He needs to be hydrated on point on this day. Not for today, but that's quite a leap. Ali, sleep. Do they have a company rated? Tomorrow, secure. This is a market of Macalens. It can be to just a new job. Yeah, as much as possible to come to the Lucia Sandemar, it can meet the next standard for fish water, SLNS 29 tons. Stop packing, trust the primary purity, treat, biological stability, packaging and labeling of all bottled water that is packaged for sale, and it says it's food. This anti packaged water should be used in conjunction with the perfect trap, it's all eaten, processed, and the packaged water, SLC 4003. Let me say it to you by Carl Sanders' name. It helps somewhat tension check solution to home with Fanderson. I am so panicked and select by the boys of Bill Cook. Bingo goes on. This is the case of it. We're going to do it. Yes, is a ring. So, this is a radio TV that has added to the alcohol, the digital, 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 the
Welcome back. The Bishop General Inquiry Nursing Profession, 20 years in the National Year of Nurse and Life and World Health Organization. She's using other chances to assist with the Bishop of the Thrust, one of the founders of the Bishop of the Thrust, 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 Sura says this year is an opportunity to highlight the enormous sacrifice contribution of the working dedicated and devoted nurses and wives. As country and opportunity to celebrate and recognize the contributions of our nurses and midwives in improvement of health, and to raise the status and profile of the profession by actions to alleviate the many challenges faced by nurses in Saint We must acknowledge, appreciate, and address the challenging conditions nurses and midwives face at work, which includes increased rates of migration, job security, poor working conditions, inadequate nurse patient ratios in the clinical setting. Inadequate funding and scholarship opportunities for advanced education and training. We look forward to increased investment in the workforce to improve such conditions. The management and staff of the Ministry of Health applauds all nurses in St. Lucia and thank you sincerely for your contribution and dedication to the health sector and the people of St. Lucia. Globally, nursing and the free workforce comprises almost 50% of the health workforce. According to the Ministry of Health, our midwives and nurses represent the highest group of health professionals in St. Lucia. The contract for the construction of the Miku Wellness Center has been signed, so says Prime Minister Alan Chastain. In making the Prime Minister disclosed a book on the project within nine days. Prime Minister noted that the project is an executed under the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, which is being financed by the World Bank. The project, according to the Prime Minister, has gone through the tendering process, which ended in September 2019. According to Chastain, the construction of the Miku Wellness Center will alleviate the inconveniences endured by Miku North residents and provide improved services to constituency and environs. The Prime Minister said he is looking forward to the timely completion of the project. He thanked the people of Miku for the completion of the project. He saw the Dream is required to produce results. In what has been something that has been practiced in Lushisa, I can see the results of the foundation has developed a progress based on a whole new product under Renault Center. So this is what we have to discuss the findings of the um, basically the skill incentive because if you to buy in from these kind of products, you need to have some kind of incentive for persons to, to take, take it in so that they can assist them. So we are going to be looking at some of the financial and economic um, intensity. On also the installation of water tanks and the practice of rainwater harvesting are vital given the increase in extreme weather patterns associated with the climate crisis. Arnold cites the advent of frequent droughts and short spells of intense but heavy rainfall as for the need to expedite mitigation and adaptation efforts. The consultant says the agencies at the recent consultation they are essential to reshaping rainwater example, harvesting BCA. policy. One of the things we're, we're, we're um, proposing or commended is that any new building that is going to be constructed must have in what have since it's installed. It is also part of the OECS building code, revised OECS building code of 2015. So they will have the part to play in terms of when the review drawings, um, they will have to go through it. The Ministry of Agriculture, in terms of the Water Resource Management Agency, they also have the part to play. Customs have their part to play if we have to look at any type of um, maybe duty free concessions, whatever the case may be on some of the materials. They will have the part to play. Chamber of Commerce, all these people. So that's what the rules are for. Harvested rainwater and water conservation methods will become essential in a world of adverse weather conditions. Arnold says the dialogue also looked at ways to reduce the costs of domestic water tanks to the consumer. Nobel Laureate Week activities were officially launched with the annual pomp and ceremony. Melissa Paul brings us that story. The annual Nobel Laureate festivities started out as a one celebration, was later extended to one week and is now a festival. Excellency Dimplet Louisi, chair of the Nobel Committee, unveiled the theme for this year's celebrations in honor of the two celebrated laureates. We have been celebrating their achievements for the last 27 years and have, through our various and varied events, endeavored to nurture, cultivate, and encourage a deeper appreciation of the notion of excellence in all spheres of our personal, collective, and national lives. It is for this reason that we have kept as our current theme the celebration of excellence. Our sub theme this year is Surprise Vision 2020. In keeping with theme, the former Governor General Erushans used the book of the laureate as motivation to achieve the highest potential. The notion of pursuing excellence requires that we constantly fine tune our craft, whatever that craft may be, until we near perfection. That journey and these achievements of our laureate should be our inspiration. The chair of the Nobel Laureate Committee expressed in response to the increase in participation from members of the community. I am heartened and delighted at the growing interest of the arts sector in the Nobel Laureate Festival. The arts community seems to have found a home in that celebration, judging by the increase in the number of requests for inclusion of their events in our program of activities. Sir Arthur Lewis would have been 105 years old and Sir Derek Walker 90 years this January 23rd. Melissa Paul reporting for the HTS News Force. 
automobile aficionado and host of the Radio 100 show Drive by Russell Lake will host a forum for car enthusiasts and industry players this weekend. The forum is scheduled for Saturday, January 11th, will be attended by a number of big wigs in the private sector as well as public officials. Lake, who is also the proprietor of Russell's rooftop, says the mixer has been long in the making. The event of today essentially is a mixer. It's time. It's meeting. So it whole mixture of official dumb because I've been knighted the brass of the industry and I do mean the brass to me they will be coming. As well as the players in the industry as far as it goes for the nah companies, the Rajas, the Axtries, um companies, the body work people, the mechanics or mechanics of all ships and of course, the car enthusiasts, including and the president of Classic and so Car Club, which are my club members going to be there. Um, in addition, there are so many people I know who love cars, so I know that some of the personal invitations I set out, an audio clip, which is the ad on Radio 100, has gone in different um, group chats, what's group chats, etc. We sing for the T, you know, motorcycle for the T. Really, who deals with transportation would have known this meeting. Lake says the forum will have feel of mini trade show set against the backdrop of a recreational scene. People of Australia with like minded interest in the military industry can share thoughts. Co hosted morning goes by the show Rio and says the forum is just a mini event planned for this year. At this forum will be some presentations being made um, within the automotive industry who want to actually um, get their products and services out there. But most importantly, car enthusiasts. You'll be an owner, but you just have a little washer for classic sort of new cars, modified cars, fast cars. So the phone, you can come and speak, you can compliment, you can critique, you can inform with, you can raise, you can suggest, you talk about past, present, future, in transport, all asks, commercial, entertainment oriented, etc. At the end of the exercise, which will be one, you know, fruit to the public, you park and you come up, uh, you know, food and drinks and a good time. At the end of this exercise, drive by will collect all this that comes out of this and have another forum only for cars but there are motorcycles where that's drive by there are, um, there's the aviation industry there's the marine industry there are many aspects transfer the trucking etc the excess event is recharged at 7 p.m. Saturday it encourages friends carpool event sparking within also your what is the most please will be back just a moment Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness of Chuck Fitz and off. Plus, get a chance to win a weep in by and pay nothing to watch the red lights. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. We dream of having our daughter in our first home. I dream of reuniting with my dad. I dream of having my daughter at school every day. I dream of finding the cure for cancer. I dream of dream to reality, a solution, all the bank you need. If you live, work, or plan to build in the north of the island, we have some great news for you. Bryson Company has expanded operations to the north, making transfer less hassle and cheaper on your customers. So, to get the highest quality roof fencing, feathering, wire free bar, check out Company Limited, located for Cassie's, now in North Jose Jerusalem. Bryson Company Limited, build even build for.
The Ministry of Agriculture has welcomed the project, which they say is expected to bring significant value to Lucia's fish processing chain. The Ministry of Agriculture's Amanda Ficarcus's morning's report. The Senate Fish Marketing Corporation has a new face and a new name, Lucian Ocean Foods. The development, which has been supported by the government of St. Lucia, will see the partnership between the Ministry of Agriculture and the entity provide storage, sale of fish and other seafood, and also a delicatessen. Acting Minister of Agriculture on the Fortuna Rose credits supportive policies and investment opportunities provided her government, enabling citizens to participate in the development and which make up the Lucian Ocean Foods brand. Community to partner on brutal and dirty is not over the sector. Which called into Mr. Bellows, in future the right approach and business agreement, and agreement will create industry through a country of schools to the same achievement. I hope people will soon in the sector, it's about the return investment. We have managed to all cooperate at a much higher standard than the benefit of the soil. Ladies and gentlemen, a key aspect of the new arrangement is the fact that local fish must be given priority before imported fish. And so our fishers have nothing to fear once they catch, once they catch meets the required standards. This means that our fishers must be equipped and understand the importance of standards in delivering service. This will require training and engagement as priority under this new arrangement. The government of Sinusia remains committed to supporting and enabling the newly formed Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods Company, while simultaneously working to ensure a vibrant fisheries sector. From the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Matthew Clark reporting. Finally, bring you a look at the latest picture presented by E.O. James. Thank you, Andrea, and welcome to all our viewers and listeners. We get right into our weather map for this evening. Strong winds and rough seas are expected to continue across the island during the next 24 hours as we have the Atlantic high pressure system as our dominant position to generate strong winds. Thank you.